Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Wallsy World. My creative build and space engineers, will be, we are building a theme park. Last two episodes, we've been working on the uh, Ferris wheel and it is completely done and working. So we're going to move on to a new ride. Um, let's start uh, with slow, simple rides, just so we can get our feet wet with, you know, how things move, how pistons and rotors and all that kind of stuff can be controlled. And we'll, we'll get up to more advanced rides that are more for the thrill seeker. Um, but as promised, I made this into a hexagon as my center center of my park. I'm not sure which ride I'm going to make in the center yet. Um, it's got to be something that is on a even, not an, yeah, an even level uh, versus odd. Like there's an even number of bricks here. There's a center line. Um, so something that has like a central rotation point probably is not going to work there. So we'll, we'll figure out something there. This ah, stupid tree. <laughs> if they just randomly come back. Anyway, I've built a few other platforms here. We can have two rides, one on either side, um, because we can't build on the center line because we build lots of odd shapes. Uh, but right here, I've got something going um, that's a trick that I learned uh, that's been around for quite a while. Um, there's actually some controversy whether you or not you can still do it, and this proves you, you can still do it. What this is is, this is a large rotor with a small rotor head inside it. Uh, so we're going to learn how to do that. What we need to do is hit F6, uh, no, 8, there we go. <laughs> uh, mouse wheel up a little bit so we can go into space really fast. Come on, go, oh, there we go. Okay, we're in space. I need uh, this on. Let's get completely out of the gravity well. Um, I did put a uh, waypoint there, luckily. I actually, last time I went out into space, I forgot, and I spent like, 10 minutes flying all over the world trying to find the theme park again. I almost lost it. All right, but we're in uh, we're in no gravity here, so we're good to go there. Okay, guys, now we're in space. We're going to go ahead and put down a new station. And on top of that, we're just going to go ahead and put a rotor. Uh, come on, rotate the right way. There you go. And take off the head. Um, actually, let's try this. This might work better. If we put a... large block there and then then take off the head ah that might be too far away but we need to get a small ship going and I think we're gonna have a problem if we do that we'll see uh, and then put this rotor head right on there come on stick to the bottom nope yeah I think we're too close Oh, we're not even in the center either. That was pretty bad. Try that again. That looks a little better. Oh, I can't I get to the bottom. Oh, I had it. I had it. Oh, and there. Okay. Click that. Get rid of it. Okay, so now it's kind of in there, but it's not really attached yet. Um, so let's get... Let's power this station just so we have... Um, an interface and we make sure it has power. Go to control panel, rotor, and should be able to hit attach. Anything? Does not appear so. Watch them have like hot fixed it like just today or something. It says detach now. That's different than before. Before it said looking for a rotor to attach. Attach. There we go. So it hook on. So I think that's the easiest way to do it is you kind of just put a block on top, take out the middle block, and then try and finagle your way to get that piece in there. Now that is actually attached. So we can stick a, a few blocks on here. Oops. And we can come into this now and take that rotor and actually turn it on. So let's give it a little bit of velocity. And we should see it rotate. Cool. And it's going. It's kind of rotating the, sh the station and the, and the arm, but that's okay. So what I the next thing you probably want to do once you get this done once is take about that much of it and save that as a blueprint right there. 
So you have, you know, a block to attach to and then a block up here. And then you don't have to ever come out to space to do this again. Just save that as a blueprint. And you're good to go. So let's head down, back down to the earth. Uh, F8. A little bit faster here. Whoa, it's lag fest. Whoa. Okay, load. Please load. Please don't. Oh, nope. All right, we got to slow down here. All right, come on in to where... Oh! <laughs> where are we? There we are. All right. Control space. Or is it shift space? I don't know. One of them tele put teleports your character here. And we're back down. Okay. <laughs> back down. Here we are. So I've already got that in place. Um, we've got the, the rotor uh, down in the earth. And then a small rotor head on top. Now why do I want to do this? What I want to build is a... And if I build this on a normal rotor, let's try and put it in here. And we try and see how big this thing would allow us to build with this small area. Um, I could, you know, build something like this, make it look more round. But then if I stick like a piston on it, I mean, the piston is gigantic, you know, and I want just little tight like ships to go up and down. So sooner or eventually I need to have small, uh, small blocks anyway. So I could put either like ships or actually try and make a horse. Who knows if I'll be able to do that. So we really want to get work with small blocks here. A lot of you guys suggested that on the um, actual, um, what was I going to say? Uh, come on, just. I don't remember how to change axes. <laughs> That's all right. Control X can do it. Um, a lot of you suggested to do small um, blocks on the Ferris wheel to, for the bucket cars. And that was probably would have been a good idea. Um, but so I'm going to do it on the Ferris or on the uh, merry-go-round instead. So with small blocks, let's go up just so we're above the air, uh, above the ground, just enough. And um, how big do we want to build this thing? We want it pretty big. So let's go like, oh no, I don't remember how many blocks that was. Make a circle. So this is the center and then we'll go, what, 44 blocks. So that'll be 89. Let's make it 45. So 45 blocks out from here. Whoa, this is going to be huge. <laughs> this might be too big. Let's, we'll make an X and then we'll see how big it is. I should probably make it like that so it's even. All right. So that's our Ferris wheel size. Um, let's go out again a little bit more. Which one's the center? I should probably mark it. There we go. So that's one, we need 44 more. 43 more, because I already had one, yep. And then we'll kind of determine if this is too big or not. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see if this thing spins. So, is that gonna hit us? That might hit us. Okay, uh, rotor three, let's give it a nice slow velocity. That sounds good, and turn it on. That's actually pretty fast. Just don't hit the pilot's chair. Okay, we're good. So is that, is that gonna be a good size for our Ferris wheel? I think it is. I think that's a, that's a decent size. It gives us plenty of room out here to make um, kind of like a railing and have a queue system for the people waiting in line. And we have plenty of room in here to put some pistons so our things can go up and down and and build whatever kind of ships we want okay so let's go ahead and i'm going to put a controller on the middle here so i can turn this thing on and off if i need to motor three off. and let's fill it in this, this could take a while wow this thing's gonna be huge And I want to round it, so I'm going to have to look up uh, a pixel circle generator and find out 
how to make this thing look round, because this many blocks, you can't really eyeball it. <laughs> right now, I'm just kind of giving us a decent surface area to work with. Oh, nope, don't want that. All right. <laughs> That's half of it. <laughs> And again, as, as with all builds, we're going to start more in a proto prototyping stage and just kind of figure out what works, and then we'll work on making it look decent and, uh, you know, putting it up, all that kind of stuff later. Nope. Okay, a couple more just to get our general. So it's not like an X, it's more like a circle, <laughs> in air quotes. Okay, that is our gigantic uh, thing. Let's see how big we look on this. Okay, that might be a little big. <laughs> it just seems like, you know, it might have a, a central column that'll be a circle kind of like this. Because you always see like the, the, you know, the Ferris wheel, uh, not Ferris wheels, merry-go-rounds have a kind of a big fat column in the middle where all the controls are uh, for the rotation. And we'll, we'll see if we can put mirrors on there. We'll put glass and see if it reflects. They did say the new glass has a lot more reflection, so we'll see if it does look good. Uh, and then we'll have, like, pistons, like, here. Oops. And maybe, like, should we do three rows? I just don't know if I can make three rows, so maybe we'll do two rows kind of wide apart so that we can do... Um, some decent looking ships to fly around on. I mean, this is Space Engineers uh, theme park. We're not. Oh, I'll come back here. <laughs> we're not. Uh, we're not gonna go with horses, right? I might make one horse. And then you know, have something like here and here and here. here. Just putting these in a general area so I can see what it will feel like whoa made three of them I hate how the top doesn't go away ah oh, I missed okay so that is pretty much how big our merry-go-round would need to be so I think we could probably cut it off maybe like here however many blocks that is and, and make that round okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that let me um just take a quick pause I'm gonna go look up a, a pixel generator actually if you want to know a good one uh, it's one at donut studios donut but with an a donut studios dot com slash pixel circle generator gives you a nice circle then you just follow that pattern then we can try and use some of the uh, building blocks that we have to make it look even more rounded and not just like a minecraft circle and uh, i'll be back when that's done so just see you in a bit guys okay guys a quick update on progress here i went ahead got a radius 77 circle and filled it in you can see i've got symmetry mode on to make that a little bit easier i <laughs> didn't quite get the full circle there because i didn't have enough blocks um, underneath it to it attach to but uh, this one i've made radius 15 or not radius 15 diameter 15 sorry this is diameter 77 um and it might be a little bit big i have to kind of play with scale some more once i get the actual uh ships or whatever that's going to be on the poles um but now I, what i can do is just go ahead and, and trim off the excess um and i'll have my my shape um a circle shape and then we'll we'll smooth again just like we did with the edges of the uh, Ferris wheel will smooth them so they're not so blocky. Uh, but yeah, this will work for now. And go ahead and trim that out. And once I get that done, we've got to kind of figure out what we're going to put on these uh, guys. Now, what I think we'll do first is get a rotor on them so that we can spin them and align them so they're all uh, perfectly looking around in a circle. 
Um, and then what we can do is put a block on there. Let's see, this one should probably go... Uh, it's going to be only rotor on the ship. Let me just put another attachment here real quick. Oh, the pistons, here's the rotor. Let's uh, rotate this guy, lower limit. It's right at 360. Let's put it at 45. Come on. Probably easier to do this. And then we'll put some brakes on it here and turn the velocity down. Any day. Okay, that was weird it didn't update. <laughs> it was like not showing the current angles and stuff. Alright, so that's 40 degrees and that's that's close enough. So now we can build whatever ship we want on here. And then I'll have something going up really high. And this would be like the pole that goes up into the roof. So let's just pretend this is some kind of ship. <laughs> Let's get a seat. Do I have a seat on any of these bars? Not the one I want. I think I got rid of it. All right, that's our that's our horse for now. Now we want this thing to go up and down and up and down. So let's um get the piston that's on here. Now what piston is this going to be? I have no idea. <laughs> so that means we need, let's see, this is attached to that and that has an antenna. So we should be able to take all these pistons that we've randomly placed on here and show on the HUD. There we go. So piston six. You are my uh, guinea pig. And we're going to set this to a velocity of 0.3 for now. 0.4, fine. We'll speed him up. And he's going to go up and he's going to go down. Or he's going to go up and then he's going to stop. All right, guys, so now we've got this set up. Let's actually make it go up and down. So I'm going to come in here into the middle where I've torn a little hole away and just put a timer block on there. And let's put these pistons in a group. So if we grab one through nine, three through 19, we'll have to change this later because all these pistons are just temporary. Uh, oops. And let's call them Merry Pistons. They're very merry. All right. And then our Merry Pistons, if we go to our timer block, setup actions, groups, Merry Pistons. And we'll just hit toggle or reverse. There we go. And then after that, we want to start the timer over again, right? Just so it loops. Okay. And now, 10 seconds might be a little too hard, long. Let's do like six. And see if anything happens. There she goes. <laughs> They're all going down. Okay, so six seconds is a little too long because it reaches its its max too early. <clears throat> so let's just change that down. Hit stop. Down to four. Let's try that. Let's try that. There we go. Eee! Whoa, we're a little too far away. Look, Mom, I'm riding a not unbuilt Ferris wheel or unbuilt merry-go-round. <laughs> All right, and then let's turn rotor three on. Oh, it's going backwards. Reverse. And that's basically our, our merry-go-round complete. Uh, not complete. <laughs> All these pistons are going to have different offsets so that they reverse at different times. Some are going up while some go down. I'll have like a bunch of different timer blocks controlling various ones. Um, but yeah, that's that's the gist of it. Just having them going up and down and, and rotating. So this one was pretty short, guys, but I'm going to need your help. I need 
small ships that you want to put on here. So um, just point me to the um, Steam Workshop. I'd like to have original creations, things that you guys have made um, that you would like to see on the merry-go-round. They need to be pretty small. They need to be small ships, right? Um, so something's got to fit. Let's say, oh, let's turn this all off before it gives me vertigo here. Uh, no, no, rotor three off, timer block off. I'll have to get good controls here. Okay. You done? All right. So something, if that guy's here, it would need to fit in this area here. So 12, maybe 13 by about 18, maybe 17. Something would fit in, in this, this amount of space. Not too tall either, maybe max height of about 13. So pretty much 13 by 13 by 13, but it can be a little bit longer if you want. Something cool, just like some speeders or some, uh, I mean, they could be shaped like anything, really. You could have a cool like orb that like rotated while it went around, might be cool. Um, but we, yeah, we just need, you know, if you want to build a horse, if anyone's like really creative and can build a horse out of the uh, the blocks that um, kind of morph, all this, the smooth blocks, I tried building with those um, in a, a steam or in a stream once, and they're very difficult. You can achieve some pretty cool stuff with it, but they're difficult to build with. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off curving this guy out, maybe putting a roof on it. We'll see. I might want to wait till we have some submissions, and then I'll start building a few of my own, um, depending on how many people submit their work. So definitely send me you guys your small ships that are about 13 by 18 by 13. I'll put them on the merry-go-round, and people can ride them. Uh, as as they please um, I'm still trying to get oh that's a different thing I was gonna say for my survival series I'm still trying to get my mod pack listing um, if you guys want to use mods in any of your ships just let me know what you're using I, I can probably put them in here as long as they're not too excessive or cause any lag because we're gonna have a lot of <laughs> stuff in here rotating and going up and down and spinning and all that stuff I'm rambling. I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. Thanks everyone for watching. This has been Punch X. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of Wallsy World. And I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later. Bye.